hey y'all what is good welcome back to my youtube channel it is your girl desiree um if you are new to this um make sure you guys hit that subscribe button like this video and okay really crystal it's yes. not gonna see they can see it <laughs> are we recording still or what yes okay so anyways this is my daughter Introduce yourself, please. Hi, I'm Crystal. Okay, so <laughs> nice to meet ya. Happy Friday, y'all. TGIF up in here. Okay, so uh, today we're um, she's helping me do this video. Um, so hope you guys are having a good start to your weekend. We What's just, the video? Oh, okay, as you guys can see up top up there, um, while we are here, um my pet peeves and actually i have a total of not uh 20 i'm going to be looking at this paper um and this is kind of like it's personal very very personal pet peeves so um make sure you sit down get you some get you some popcorn going some water some water you know get you some little sippy sippy little drinky drink okay and sit back and enjoy this video so let's get started crystal's going to give her input on the things that I say so that is why she's another reason why she's doing this video with me so let's get started um number one one of my pet be my first pet peeves is liars um I would rather someone be honest and truthful with me because then I will trust you and your honesty is very important to me so number two being ignored um if you don't want to deal with me from the get-go or you know like a little while if you don't want to talk to me then tell me i won't talk to you no more but being ignored is another thing that i cannot stand so number three go ahead i don't even think it's about i think it's more than just not want to talk to the person i feel like if you're in a relationship you should never ignore the person that you're with you know, mm -hmm. you should be able to talk it out, be able to resolve it. I think that it's okay to have your space, you know, let the other person cool off, etc. Never, but never ignore somebody because ignoring somebody can make them feel very left out, make them feel true, make them have th thoughts that are not correct, make them feel very uh, useless, like they're not important. So, but I do agree with her. Like, if you don't feel like talking to the person, if you don't feel like having anything, anything you do with them anymore just let them know don't leave them on to mm -hmm. think to make them think something else right okay number three rejection um my feelings are important what i think is important but don't reject how i feel or, or what i'm thinking because if you reject me i'm gonna pull away from you but um it's like you're rejecting somebody like you're just not even you don't even care about their feelings <clears throat> i don't think rejection is necessarily them not caring about your feelings sometimes objection can be as simple as someone saying no or objection can be extreme to the point where, like they're embarrassing you true so i think rejection has levels but some people just can't take can't can't take rejection well like me mm -hmm. and my mom we don't really take rejection very well exactly okay number four people who assume this um, is big for her <laughs> this is very big for me i have a problem with people assuming just anything about me um like my daughter knows just like she said this is really big for me but my daughter knows that i don't want you to put words in my mouth i don't want you to assume that you know my life or that you um can just assume anything about me uh like people will assume that i'm overweight because i eat and just indulge in chocolate or sweets period people will assume i'm overweight because i don't take care of myself i'm overweight because because of a lot of reasons so if you want to know why i'm overweight ask me and i will tell you <laughs> but don't assume that i'm overweight because i just indulge in one particular thing so um 
for me, losing weight is hard, but it's not. It's not impossible. Impossible, exactly. Thank you, girl. See, that's why I got her here. <laughs> what do you think about assuming? Just in, in, for yourself. I just feel like it's better to ask questions. Because you could assume something that's totally off, off in left field and not even be true. Yep. The best thing to do is that if you feel like somebody is this way, ask. And if they are, you're right. If they're not, then you're wrong. But mm -hmm. assuming can lead to a lot of a lot of negative things. If, assuming can lead to somebody thinking the worst about somebody. Right. Um. Just creates a lot of drama. For it's no, unnecessary. Unnecessary drama. drama yeah. Mm -hmm. So just just don't assume. Okay. Number five, being abused. Um, abused being mentally, physically, emotionally. Um, if you know that in my world or in my life period, it's like, um, I'm not going to really fully go into a lot of details about my personal life right now, but if you know my life, uh, and you know that I'm in this situations are going on with me, don't use me to gain things when you know that. I'm not doing so good in certain areas because when you use somebody for your own personal gain, it's not going to be good for you in the end because you could get used, but it could be worse than what you do to me. So basically karma. Yep. <clears throat> Excuse me. Neglected is number six, which we've all, we've, I think this whole family has experienced neglect, meaning like the sister, brother, grandma, mom, Stuff like that. We've all experienced neglect in some way. I think mainly with our fathers. Yeah. I think all of us yeah. have well, father issues. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even Katie, I feel yeah. like, has some father issues. Katie's my, my sister, her daughter. Um, I, I feel like, when speaking in terms, of, in terms of neglect, I feel like we all have a lot of, like, dad issues. Mm-hmm. Okay. If you guys feel anything that, if you guys are uh, agreeing with all of this, hit that like button. Or if you have any <laughs> advice or if you want to say anything, comment down below. Right, right. Okay, number seven, taking and being taken advantage of. Um, I guess that goes in with um, being used, I think. I think that kind of ties together. <clears throat> um don't take advantage of me <laughs> period just don't do it uh because they can come back on you once again just like um being used so don't take advantage of someone when you know that they're that's a pet peeve of mine don't take advantage of someone period okay moving along number eight um bad body odor slash being dirty um Okay, regardless of your body type, regardless if you're little or small, I mean, <laughs> little, or big. little or big, like you are small build or big build, you need to keep your body fresh. Yeah. Um, I mean, I can understand if you're homeless and you don't have a way to get to a get to a bath or, totally or a shower. Yeah. You do what you got to do. But if you're somebody and you just don't take showers for whatever reason or don't clean yourself up, there's a problem. Because mm -hmm. I'm just going to smell bad. I'll be on the bus and they're just wasting me because I just smell bad or just look bad. Like they don't take care of themselves. And that goes into with bad dental hygiene. Yeah. People that have nasty teeth, like yellow teeth, rotting teeth, missing teeth, kind of just like disgust me. Mm-hmm. I mean, the, <clears throat> you know, I, I don't know your story. I don't know what happened. I don't know why it's like that. It still doesn't, it still doesn't excuse the fact that you, that it's like that. Okay. So I'm going to explain something to you guys. Um, a long time ago, when I was younger, I had a cap over one of my tooth, one of my teeth, sorry. <laughs> and um, for the longest time, I didn't, I was brushing my teeth, but I wasn't taking care of my, my um, dental hygiene. And brushing your teeth, yeah, that's good. Mouth, uh, mouthwash and flossing, that's good. But you still need to see the dentist. You still need to um, get your, che your teeth checked regularly. So, um... I wasn't getting the proper dental care that I needed. 
So I was chewing some gum, which I love to chew gum, but I was chewing some gum and the cap, which was a silver cap at the time, and it was actually pretty little. It came off in my gum. I was like, okay, fine, didn't think nothing of it. But then um, I was chewing beef jerky on on the left side and it uh, the, the piece was pretty hard and it actually cracked my tooth in two pieces and I felt it in my mouth and I had to spit it out or whatever. So then there was a little piece left. And then over, I say less than a year's time, um, it started to become very annoying to me. And I was extremely like, I need to go to the dentist like ASAP because I could not chew on the left side of my mouth. I had, let's see, um, probably about three fourths, like 75% of that tooth was actually gone. And um, I know people can't tell unless you're like so into my mouth. <laughs> But um, I had to go to the dentist and they actually had to pull out the remaining part of that tooth. When I actually saw it, it was like, it was just like a thin, not thin, but it was just like, uh, how do I want to explain it? Like uh, just a piece of the tooth was left. But when they pulled it out, it was still um, the root, like the bottom part of the teeth that sticks in your gum in your gums. So I was like, man, I, and that from that moment on, I knew that, um, I had to, I had to take, start taking better care of my teeth. So I got an oral B toothbrush, <laughs> go to Walmart. They're like under $10. Um, it's one of those spin toothbrushes and they're, it's way better for people to use a spin toothbrushes than the manual because they can get in deep up in there. Okay. So anyways, just, just a little story. Okay. Next one, um, people who are cocky. Crystal, your thoughts? <laughs> no yeah, thoughts. I've dealt with a lot of, of guys that are like that. That think they're all that. That think the sun and the sh the sunshine and the rain rises and falls on them. Mm -hmm. And it's like, no. It's like, I mean, I'm all about confidence. I'm all about hyping yourself up. But some people, I think it gets to the point where like they constantly need to be validated they constantly need people around them. Right. They constantly want to be, want to feel superior. Want to feel, want to feel like no one can ever be on their level. Right. That's, I don't. I don't like people like that. That's where. That's almost like narcissist. Narcissist level. Excuse me. <clears throat> okay. Um, number eleven. Kindness. Taking my kindness for weakness, or taking someone's kindness for weakness. Um, if I do something for you, I'm not. I don't want to, okay, I want to say I'm not expecting anything in return, but knowing if I do something for you, I'm expecting for you to do something for me in return because I'm coming, I'm taking away from what I'm getting to help you. And if I ask you, hey, can you help me? I just did this for you a while ago. And I'm not saying that I'm going to throw it back in that person's face, but don't. Don't, don't just don't take my kindness for weakness and say oh well i'm not gonna do anything for you because i shouldn't have to but people say oh well you shouldn't respect things in return but i kind of do to i'll be honest with you but i'm not saying if i give you a little here i'm expecting a lot no if i'm giving you a little then i'm expecting for you to do something little for me in return okay number 12 and this is big cheaters so I think that that kind of speaks for itself. Um, number one, cheating I, is bad. There you go. Okay, but number one, I will say, if you know you a cheater, and or you know you just don't want to be faithful, and you know and you know that you can't be committed to one person, you don't need to be in no committed relationship. Don't be. Don't get into a relationship with the person that you know wants to be exclusive and only wants to be in a relationship with you. Don't screw their freaking head up. Knowing you can't be faithful. Find somebody who's on the same level as you. Who doesn't want to be in just a relationship with one person. Then find someone who wants to be in open relationships. There you go. Stop screwing people and don't, up. Don't lie about it and don't hide that part of your life from someone who you know wants to commit with one person. Give them enough respect to be like, okay, so I'm just going to tell you this. This is what I want. Open relationship. No, no, no. No. People get hurt. People have babies that they probably don't need or want um people get stds from that stuff and it's like 
Why do I want to be put through that? Okay, moving along, users. But see, that ties into <laughs> kindness for weakness. It also ties into taking advantage of, but just people go around just using people and they think, oh, I'm not going to, this is not going to catch up to me. So, this is, what did you say? Narcissist? Is, doesn't that tie in to that? No, that was cocky. Okay. Okay. So, number 14 is show off. <clears throat> yeah, somebody who always, who always wants to be noticed, who's always saying, look, I did this, look, I did this, or, oh, I can do it better. Watch me do it. You know, those kind of people. It's just like, come on now. We know you can do it. Next. <laughs> She, she got more stuff to say than I do. <laughs> That's why she's here. <laughs> okay, so number 15. Say what you mean, mean what you say. That is a pet peeve of mine because if you're going to tell me something and you're, you're going to say you're going to do something, I'm actually expecting for you to Keep your word and do it. And I feel like your words and your actions should tie in together. So it's like mm -hmm. if someone says, oh, I'm going to come spend time with you do it don't say you're going to do it and say oh i didn't tell you i was going to do that basically you <laughs> I will pull the screenshots up you're lying okay yeah you're lying to me okay so number 16 crystal what do you think about broken promises i just take promises very seriously and if you promise me that you're going to do something i expect such Mm -hmm. and when someone breaks a promise it's serious to it is me very serious because that means i can't trust you if you, yeah if you're breaking promises that means the trust is somewhat kind of broken because now i feel like everything you say is sketchy mm -hmm. and now i'm now i'm analyzing every little thing you're saying like oh is, is is he lying about that is he not lying about that <laughs> that's why people say don't pull pranks because if if someone says, oh, I'm pregnant to their boyfriend and they're like, I don't know whether I should believe you, but that's why your actions should speak louder than your words or your what, what you do or say, period. So it's, <clears throat> yeah, okay. <laughs> Sab uh, sabotage is number 17. I think you could speak on that more. Okay, so... Um, <laughs> my last marriage y'all and I'm just gonna go into this real quick and I'm gonna try my best to move through it my ex tried to sabotage me my reputation and it's like his reputation was on his way to being tarnished okay so it's like can I say this something real quick yes you said that he tried to sabotage you and that his his reputation was on the way of being sabotaged mm -hmm. maybe when he knew that people were on to him mm -hmm. he said well, I don't want to be the only one that's looking stupid. So he tried to make it seem like you did something. Yeah. He tried to make you he tried to make people cut the bad guy too. Right. And and actually to be honest with y'all, it didn't work for him. Because people stopped looking at me and they looked at him more because he was more guilty. I was guilty in it, but I wasn't more guilty than he was, if y'all understand that. So if you try to sabotage me, boo boo, it ain't gonna work. Because your life is crazier than mine. I don't have skeletons in my closet. Trust that one. Well, you do, but you don't lie about them. Well, okay, I... You have skeletons, but you... But if someone tells you... If someone's coming to you real and like, Yo, what's up? You're not gonna... not You're not gonna lie. Exactly. And be fake. I don't... My my door is open. His door is shut with a, with a boat. Mm -hmm. Boat lock on it. Okay. Number 18. Bringing my past mistakes, bringing up my past mistakes. Oh, yeah. And I feel like if I make mistakes and you're constantly throwing them in my face, why do I want to be around you if that's all we're going to talk about? Go ahead. I feel like sometimes that's not necessarily the, that's not necessarily what people do when they bring up your past. Maybe, maybe it's not to throw it in your face. Maybe it's to... I don't know. Maybe they're using it for a point. They're trying to make a point. Mm -hmm. I don't think people necessarily bring up your past. And I don't mean, when I say your, I don't mean you. I mean just in general. In general, yeah. 
Maybe people, pick up, people bring up your past to make a point or to say something. Maybe to validate you for not being the same person you were back then. Um, but I can get that because I feel like... Actually, I don't think people have done that to me before. But, but at the yeah. same time, too, it's not a good thing to do. If you mean it in a negative way, then that's not good. Yeah, in a positive way, most definitely, because if you know I'm trying to work on things in my life, then of course I want you to bring it up because then it's something that I need to work on. But at the same time, um, don't throw it in my face as a way to disrespect me or hurt me. But sometimes things need to be said and things need to be brought up and resolved. <laughs> yeah, but if it's in a positive way, of course, but if it's negative, then you don't need to talk about it. Maybe you just take it negatively. It depends on what it is. And who's bringing it to my attention. Please stop moving in that chair. I can't help it. <laughs> I'm getting all antsy. Okay, 19. Bragging. Bragging is with show off, honestly. Yeah. Skip that one. Okay. Um, 20. Fleck, flecking out on me. Basically something that I've dealt with a lot. You both have. Um, Wendell. I'm not going to say the name because that's me. I just said it. Well, I'm not going to say my name. Cause, okay. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. Go ahead, Christian. Basically, I've had arising issues. We, me and this person have, have solved the issue somewhat, but I'm going to tell you what what did happen. There was points where like we would try to hang out, and the person would basically, you know, we'd set a date, the date would be set, and the time that we're supposed to hang out, there would be no no phone call, no, I'm I'm here. No, nothing. It's just it's straight up just ghost. So then, you know, I, I'm, t I'm trying to get a hold of this person to see what's going on. Nothing. And then hours later, it's, oh, I can't hang out. So that, the, it's like a, it's like the, you know, flaking slash being stood up. You know, that's a, re that was a reoccurring thing. But mm -hmm. like I said, like the issue was pretty much resolved. But I've had to do with that, and it really upset me because I was, I was, my my day was wasted. I'm sitting up here waiting for you to, you know, hit me up so we can hang out and nothing. And you know, I'm a good friend, so I'm not just gonna go up and leave and be like, well, forget this person. Like, no, like, I'm also very understanding. So if you if you tell me, hey, Crystal, like, I'm busy. Oh, I can't hang out today for so and so reason. I'm like, that's totally fine. Right. I'm not gonna get mad at somebody because I can't hang out. Of course, I'm gonna be sad because you're my, because you know I want to hang out. But I'm not gonna be like, <laughs> you know, like no, I'm very understanding. It's just about the communication and 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 telling me what's up. Mm -hmm. Keeping that line open. Yeah. At the um at the same time too, it's like that's what it is. That's another thing about say what you mean, mean what you say. Um, people can tell you all day, every day about what they're going to do. But it's like your actions are gonna your actions just speak louder than words. So if you tell somebody you're gonna do something, um, and there's no action behind it, I wanna I would say give them another chance, but it's just like sometimes you you feel like you don't want to because you don't know if they're gonna stay or stick with what they say they're gonna do. That's where trust comes in. Honesty and loyalty. Okay, y'all. So that is the end <clears throat> of this video. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Come subscribe to my channel, y'all. Crystal, don't look like that here. You look all well. You just abruptly stopped talking and then went to the end. Oh, I'm sorry, girl. I'm sorry. Like outro. I'm sorry. Was there something else that you wanted to add to no, that? No, it's just weird how you went from saying something and then saying outro. <laughs> I was like, that's so My, I didn't know I don't I didn't know how to end that on that note. Okay. So um Crystal, are you sure there's nothing that you wanted to add? No, but um Okay, y'all. We have to go because my phone is dying, but <laughs> Okay, y'all. Thank you so Deuces. much for watching. Thank um, y'all for subscribe watching. Subscribe to her channel. Yes. And have a nice day. Bye. Peace.